Okay, with me today is uh, Sunena Dekhi. Sunena is a yoga expert. She's a wellness expert. She is a yoga representative at the United Nations. She is also in a car right now because she is going to the airport because apparently she is in Delhi. Today we are talking to her because it's yoga day. And uh, to begin with, Sunena, how did you get associated with yoga? I got associated with yoga very late in my life, actually. I was never the flexible, with the strength yogi. Uh, I started in London. And the first time I entered the yoga studio, it was a love affair. I loved the whole energy. I loved the way my body moved. I loved the challenge it gave me. I just enjoyed it too much. And that's when the journey began. And how, I mean, you know, throughout the years, throughout the years since you've been practicing yoga, how really has yoga sort of helped you? How has it changed your life physically, mentally, both really? I think yoga, I can't even explain it because there's so many things in life that are intangible. You can't even understand them. But I am just becoming better. I'm becoming more mindful. I'm becoming more aware. I'm becoming more intuitive. You know, like like my body or my mind is so aware now with movement. I think when you get so aware of your physical body, the next shift is like really becoming aware of your mental space, you know, and just, and I think having a spinal condition, living with a spinal, chronic spinal condition for seven years really made me so mindful about my body, about my emotions, if I did, if I, if at times I felt anxiety, I was mindful of that. I was mindful that I might need to see somebody apart from me to help me with anxiety because I'm feeling pain. When I felt emotions, I was able to just put my yoga mat on and really, really release it. Whether it was sadness, whether it was anger, whether it was frustration, just to be able to breathe those few breaths and to open your heart or like to move into Surya Namaskara, it's really, it's a very beautiful space to be in. To take care of your emotions, I think it takes care of me. You mentioned that, you know, you're living with a spinal health condition uh, for the last seven years. Could you elaborate on that? What exactly is it? And uh, what, what happened? So I've got, the my whole spine is actually fractured. So I've got, I've got, disc bulges throughout my neck and at the bottom I've got spondylolisthesis, I've got spondylitis, I've got every spondio that you can think of and I've got a hip fracture so it's a lot of stuff. It started when I was five, my spinal, my L5 wasn't developed and any activity or movement because it's not there, my L5, it didn't grow. I've become such an awesome teacher because I can understand pain. I can understand like when, when like earlier me as a teacher was, if somebody told me, hi, Sunena, ma'am, I want to join your classes, but you know, I have a spinal condition. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come, you know, we'll handle it. And it was very intellectual and it was something that I had learned. And that was what I was teaching them. But today as a teacher, I feel them. I get them. I understand pain. And because I understand pain and I can understand what the other person is doing, going through it makes me better I think when you have any condition you know everything I feel is given by God like today after whatever I'm going through whether it's on a physical plane that has taught me how to become so mindful of how I walk heel toe engage my core shoulders back chin parallel I've become, that requires a lot of discipline in the mind. If I look at it on an emotional level, how I've been getting anxiety or how I've not felt supported to be able to try to help myself and try to get emotions under control. That has been my emotional practice through this pain in the last seven years. You know, on a spiritual practice, just to believe that everything is there for a reason. It is making you stronger. Yeah, I think what you what you basically encapsulate in saying is that uh, yoga is a practice which sort of physically, mentally, spiritually, it sort of really brings you together and makes you strong. And I think that is really the message which you're looking for during uh, 
on a day like yoga day but all the best for the future take care yeah yeah <laughs> thank you so much lots and lots of love kabir and everyone happy international yoga day and i've loved this interview thank you kabir thank you thank you